My name's Scott and today I'm in my kitchen in Harrogate and this is Las Vegas on a budget. Please like this video and if you're not yet a subscriber please hit that subscribe button as well. So you've packed your case and are ready to go. You've got your clothes, your money, your passport. But is there anything else that you need to make your trip as comfortable and as cheap as possible? Here are the six things that I never leave at home when I travel to America. Number one. So why do you need a bowl on a spoon? Or in this case, a spork. Well, I love having breakfast out. I love pancakes in IHOP. I love a lumberjack slam in Denny's or a big buffet breakfast. But if you do it every single day, it gets a bit pricey. £10 per person, it soon adds up. Now, I'm not saying that you don't have the odd breakfast buffet or the odd pancakes in Denny's or, or IHOP. I'm just saying don't do it every day. So maybe every other day, just have some cereal in your room. Get some cornflakes from Walmart, buy some milk, uh, even in a gift shop, and you save yourself some money. Number two. A corkscrew. Common or garden corkscrew. The reason I do that is if you're anything like me, you might like a little tipple in your room before going out for the night. Maybe a, a glass of wine where you're getting changed, etc, etc, or, or a bottle of beer. Now what i found is that most wine bottles in America don't seem to have a screw, a screw cap. So you need to have something that you take a cork out with. Similarly, if you're having a, uh, a beer, you're going to need something to take the top off. So, ways next to nothing. I guess if you're doing a, a carry-on luggage only option, you might struggle because it's probably, technically, it's an offensive weapon, so you won't be able to take it in the cabin. But other than that, uh, well worth the, the next to nothing that it weighs, I think. Number three. Now this one, you might not have heard of, unless, like me, you've been backpacking. And it's something that's called uh, Dr. Bronner's, or Dr. Broner's, 18-in-1 uh, Pure Castile Soap. And this stuff is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put all of the uses of this up on the screen, so do pause it if you want to. I'll stop there for a moment. Doesn't any better on my arm. Here we go. Literally two drops on my arm there. Okay, that's better. So you can see, yeah, you can see how loud that is. Uh, and I'm not suggesting that you shower or wash your hands in this all the time. Or oh. so, for the aforementioned cereal bowl, I put a couple of drops of Dr. Bronner's there after eating out of it. And very, very easy there to swill it out. So I know it's nice and clean. I can use it for tomorrow. I, I'm a bit of a tiny bit of a germaphobe. I like things to be nice and clean. So we'll leave that like that. And then the other thing uh, that we can use this for, sometimes if you think you haven't brought enough underwear or run out of socks or whatever, you just want to swill maybe a pair of underwear in your basin in your room. A little bit of, of the Dr. Bronner's on there. And I don't know if you can see that's going to foam up quite nicely already. There we go. So that's foaming up really nicely. And then immersing that into water, fill it up, and then suddenly, there we go. Number four. Now this is sort of connected to the first one, and it is a, an insulated cup or bottle, and ideally it's one that keeps things cold for 12, 14 or hours or even longer. This one I think keeps things cold for 18 hours which is perfect. So what do I use this for? Well, number one, I mentioned about um, having a cereal bowl in the room. You need something to keep your milk cold. You'll find refrigerators at uh, Las Vegas hotels are very, very rare. So best way to keep your milk cold basically overnight is, is one of these. This forms a fantastic drinking cup during the course of the day. So you want to um, fill this with ice just before you leave your hotel uh, during the course of the morning uh, and then what you're able to do is buy larger bottles of drink from supermarkets and then just top this up during the course of the day. If you have a fast food lunch then you can have a um, take some ice 
Um, when you have a like a water cup with your with your fast food lunch, take some ice out when you finish, and then you can fill it up with ice. So you've got a nice cold drink every single day. Really, really important in Las Vegas to keep yourself hydrated. So you want something to be able to keep yourself a nice cold um, supply of, of of fluid during the course of uh, of your day. Number five. Now this sounds pretty anal, no doubt. Uh, I bought this at a place called Dollar Tree. Uh, I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, and the reason for it was uh, I was at that time staying at a hotel. It was a reasonably old hotel, and it didn't have very many powerpoints in it. So I was really struggling to plug in my phone. I was crawling behind the TV uh, or behind a, a chair where the, there was a lamp on the floor uh, just to plug my phone in. So I got one of these. And as I said, it was a dollar ninety nine in Dollar Tree. I wouldn't have thought you'd be able to buy it in the UK, but if you do go to into a cheap shop in America, then do look out for these. And you can basically just plug it in behind the TV, behind the wall, etc. And then you've got a couple of PowerPoints. And you can put your phone into charge there or whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, just makes life a little bit easier, I said, uh, as I said. Number six. An American USB charger. Now, when you think about it, most of the things that you need to charge when you're on a holiday... You need a USB point for a tablet, camera, phone. So just a few things to bear in mind when you're buying one of these. First and foremost, it needs to have a two pin uh, American plug uh, so it can take the 110 volt American output. Uh, ideally, you want to have more than one USB connection. But do remember that phones um, can take up to two amps uh, at a time. So you want to have something which, which has a two amp outlet per USB connection. Uh, the wire or the cable that you use to plug into your phone needs to be able to support that as well. Otherwise, if you've got like flimsy um, outlet and a flimsy cable, it's going to take forever to charge your phone. Um, so it's very important that you don't just buy the cheapest one of these you can find. It needs to have two amps per USB uh, plug. So therefore, if it is a two, if it's got two USB connections, uh, it needs to have a four amp outlet. So there are my six things that I never leave at home when I travel to Las Vegas. What are your important travel items? Is there anything you think I might have missed? What do you think of the items that I've put on my list? Now I'm beginning to build up a series of videos on traveling to Las Vegas on a budget. Please have a look at this video which tells you a little bit about my foolproof way to beat Las Vegas jet lag. It really works. Please consider liking this video, and if you're not yet a subscriber, then please hit that subscribe button as well. And as ever, thanks for watching.